Hi, my name is Josh Stanley. I'm the product sales specialist for the state of Florida for what we call our next generation collaboration portfolio. That includes all of our cloud-based phone system, as well as audio conferencing, web conferencing, and video conferencing dire delivered directly from Cisco's cloud. Uh, I want to walk you through today uh, our latest and greatest uh, video solution called the Room Kit. Um, and I want to walk you through how easy it is to register to the cloud and how easy it is to be able to leverage a, a solution like this. So first and foremost, as soon as I plug in the solution, I get a welcome page. And it's just asking me to connect my touch panel display. Uh, I also put plug in the touch panel display into a port, and I add, it's asked to be able to select a device. I can type in the IP address of the video endpoint. In this case, it's recognized it, and it's just connecting to that device. I now get a logging in screen. Uh, it'll connect to this device, and if needed, it may need to update the firmware running on that device uh, as well. Um, now I have uh, a pop-up that says choose your call service. I have the option to register this device both to the cloud as well as our on-premise solution. Uh, I'm going to register today to the cloud just for uh, ease of, of, of deployment. So I'll click on Cisco Spark. Uh, it'll ask me for my 16-digit uh, PIN to be able to register that device to the cloud, and we're going to generate that right now. So once I log in to the Cisco Spark uh, cloud-based management portal, uh, I get initial overview page, and then I will go straight to the places section. This is where we list out all of our locations where we have video devices registered or public space telephones. I'll click on add a place, and I'll name that place. In this case, I'm going to call this the Room Kit Jacks, and I'll select next. It's going to show me a visual display of what type of device it is. Is it a phone or is it a video device? And we can see the room kit right there. So I'll select video device, hit next. It'll ask me, do I want to register this as a device that has Spark Call only or the ability to be able to make PSTN dialing as well? For simplicity, I'm just going to make Spark Call only. So uh, any video call I can make. But if I wanted to be able to dial a PST line, PSTN line outside of my organization, I'd select the second one. So I'll hit next, and just like that, it's gonna register and give me two things. It gives me a QR code and that 16-digit pen that we need to be able to register this device. So I'll come back in over here on my touch panel, and I'm gonna enter this device in, or enter this 16-digit um, number in. 3343, one, two, three, seven, 1771, 7145. And I'll hit submit. Basically, now what's going to happen is uh, the system's going to look for the Spark registration in the cloud. It'll connect to the cloud. It's going to check the firmware running both on the touch panel display as well as on the room kit. And then I'll have the option to be able to make a call from there. Uh, it has already popped up, and it's re recognized that I'm in the, um, in the uh, American New York time zone, so I'll confirm that. Uh, it'll ask me to adjust the visual display. In this case, I'm okay with what it's giving me. It'll ask me to confirm the sound on the uh, system. That's one of the really unique things about the room kit is everything's built into the video device. So I'm not required to have audio through the TV at all. I have both microphones as well as a very high-end speaker system to be able to, that's optimized for sound, audio conferencing or audio. Um, and then, I'll, of course, using and bringing my own display to that. Uh, it'll, it'll tell me here, actually, that I'm having some interference with another video device in the room. As you can see, I'm on a demo wall here as well as on a video device, so I'll go ahead and skip that. But I could troubleshoot that right in the setup. It says, system is done. I now am registered to the cloud, and I'm capable of being able to make a call, uh, a video conference call, either point-to-point -to, -point to an individual, obviously inside my organization, but because this is registered to the cloud, I can go outside as well, as well as the ability to... Um, uh, dial into any sort of a conference bridge, either with Spark or something else altogether. So hope you enjoyed. Again, great solution here that we have deployed out all in one. Bring your own device and begin video conferencing in a matter of minutes after unboxing this. Thank you very much.